This is a twin tandem compound reversing engine built 1920 by United Engineering and Foundry off of a William Todd Company design. Built at the Youngstown, Ohio plant. As far as we know, this is the last rolling mill engine built in the United States, especially the last one built at the Todd plant. This drove a 45 inch blooming mill at uh, Weirton Steel. This is May 2008. In a couple of weeks, this engine will be no more. What we have here is the uh, tail rod support. It's a high pressure cylinder, high pressure piston valve. Behind it is a low pressure cylinder. This engine had four cylinders, two high pressure, two low pressure. They were in tandem and they were uh, identical twins. That's how you get the name twin tandem. Here's the low pressure cylinder looking back towards the bed plate. The big rods above and below is part of a, uh, a massive clamp to help hold the engine together. Uh, at some point the engine was uh, rebuilt, steam pressures increased, horsepower was uh, increased, and to do that they had to put in these massive clamps. We are looking down at the high pressure cylinders. Back towards the uh, low pressure side. All the covers are over the uh, Walsh Arts valve gear and reversing mechanism. The covers in the rear are over the crankshaft. This is a pinion stand for the blooming mill, which was behind the wall. Here we are looking at the rear end of the engine. In the foreground is, the, uh, is part of that massive clamp mechanism. Behind that is the bed plates for the engine. Underneath the covers is a crankshaft looking towards the uh, low pressure and high pressure cylinders at the far end.